In the United Kingdom, we are not allowed guns because we'd probably use them to shoot all the politicians. And we're also not allowed to use stun guns because we might use them to defend ourselves and therefore deprive the worthy legal industry of their huge financial income. This looks like a stun gun, but it's not actually a stun gun. This is a Linher Handyprod Catoprod, and unfortunately, due to a slight cultural misunderstanding, many of the listings on eBay for this item, including this one that says UK seller, UK seller, I don't think so, lists it as a 4,000 volt, which is fairly realistic, electric hand cattle prod dairy dogs, sheep battery powered animals. Now, see, the thing about the word dogs here is we don't actually use cattle prods and dogs. Because whereas it might be acceptable in China to eat dogs and cats, and I suppose poodle burgers are absolutely delicious, uh, it's not really acceptable to do that in the UK. So it might be worth removing the word dogs from your listings. In fact, you know what? Remove the word cattle from your listings as well, because contrary to what you might think, going up to a cow and giving it a good blast on the rump with a cattle prod isn't going to do you any favours, because dairy cattle will actually produce less milk if it's not happy. It pays to keep cows happy. Uh, This is a a notable thing about people who have weddings in rural areas and the unscrupulous events companies come in and they let off fireworks in the middle of the night for the wedding and they don't give a shit about the fact that the farmers who have all the dairy cattle in the city will then lose a lot of money for the following several days because the cows produce less milk. So is this thing suitable for anything? Well, I'm wondering... Is it suitable for shocking bears? And there's only one way to find out, and that's to try it on a bear right now. So it's got a safety feature, which is quite nice. It's got a button here that triggers it. It's got a switch, a safety switch you have to turn on first. And unlike a stun gun, which puts on a big, huge show, this doesn't. I'm going to arc it onto this metal, and you'll see that it's not actually that dramatic, because it just produces short sparks. It's not like buzzing between the tips like a stun gun would be. And the question is, is that going to arc through a heavy played shirt onto a bear? Let's find out. The answer is not really. It's not arcing through the plate. What about onto the skin? Oh! Why do I do things like this? Because they have to be done. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. It doesn't go through clothing. Absolutely no use as a stun gun then, other than for annoying people by prodding them firmly. But uh, suitable for use in fleshy bits like faces, which would probably actually get you arrested. But anyway, now that I've triggered it, I wonder if it holds a charge across the tip. No, it doesn't hold a charge across the tip. That's good. Let's open it up and see what's inside. That was quite sore, I have to say. I'm actually kind of disappointed it didn't go through the shirt. This is a a padded work shirt, and it's also got a jumper underneath, so it's probably, you know, it's probably just the thickness was just uh, too much. It's only designed to go through rumps, and it does say not really recommended for use in wet animals because it will intensify the effect somewhat. So this actually came with four alkaline batteries, he said, knocking out three and then completely failing to find the fourth. Oh, hold on. No, it's it's not coming out. Come out. Here's the... Right, no, it's not coming out. Maybe I'll just take it apart with... No, no, it's out. So it takes four uh, alkaline batteries and they were supplied with it, which is quite odd. Let's unscrew the cover and see what's inside. I'm thinking from the way it works that it's possibly a voltage multiplier and then a, a sorry, a, a transistor type step up circuit with a transformer and then a capacitive voltage multiplier after that. Because uh, it's notable that the closer you get to something, the more frequently it sparks. So it's got four screws to hold it together to reveal the interior delights. I guess that uh, wielding this in public probably wouldn't earn you favour of the police anyway, so probably not a good idea, but maybe fun as general sort of, uh, yeah, fun. So what do we have? Oh, it's potted. That's annoying. It's potted, but what I can see in here, let's uh, zoom up a bit. What I can see in here 
Underneath all the potting, which is good in a sense from the high voltage perspective, is we've got one contact coming from the batteries here, and it's going to the button, so that's one of the connections. The other contact is going to the switch. So there is basically, on each of the battery contacts, there is a switch connection. One is the on-off switch, and the other is the button for home traction. It's a really beefy contact. That is a high current contact. That's quite impressive, actually. That then feeds the circuitry, which is potted, and I can see a single transistor sticking up here, which suggests it's a single transistor oscillator based on a transformer, which will be potted under here. I can see a slight outline of that, in fact. Uh, there's the transistor that is probably part of the uh, feedback circuit. Uh, a capacitor should say it's probably part of the feedback circuit to the transistor. And then the fact there are two capacitors here suggests the output of the transformer is then boosted up with a voltage multiplier with diodes under here and then presented to the outputs. I don't think there's anything in this tip here other than the support for the probes because it looks like they come straight through to here and possibly the leads to the capacitors are going straight up to that. So not a lot to see really in there, but... Uh, that is fundamentally it. It's basically like, you know those high voltage uh, modules you get that produce supposedly 400,000 volts? This is actually being more accurate. This is saying 4,000 volts, and that is, you know, electricity doesn't jump that far really. Even at 4,000 volts, you'd be expecting probably a few millimetres as I was getting there. Um, and certainly that the uh, higher voltage ones have m many more multiplier stages just to boost that voltage up higher. And the case of stun guns, they have the extra circuitry to put on a show. They have the internal electrodes to actually crackle across and spark. And this doesn't need that because it is designed for placing onto animals rumps and giving them a right good electric scene to. So, um, yeah, that's about it. You can buy these on eBay, but I don't think I can really... Th well, I can't think of anything you'd really want to buy one of these for. I don't think they're really suitable for animals. Um... Farmers might disagree, I'm not really sure. Maybe there are some animals they'd be beneficial for showing who is boss, but certainly not dogs, sheep or cows. I think that's just kind of a bit a bit weird, but interesting anyway.